Okay, so when trying to record my uh, first tutorial with Rocksmith running, I noticed that my video recording was suddenly not recording my microphone that I was talking into, but it was still recording all the audio for the background, ambience, noise, um, any, you know, changes like clicking on buttons, um, any talking that the game was doing, audio, music. Built into the game was fine, but and even when I was trying to use my Rocksmith cable to play songs, it would record the notes I was playing just fine, but it wouldn't record anything out of the microphone that I also had plugged in and that I was trying to either talk into, sing into, whatever. Um, so I did some research online and I found a solution for that. And in case you want to record videos with you not only playing but singing along, or maybe your own Rocksmith tutorials, in Rocksmith 2014 Remastered, um, this is how you fix that problem. So from your desktop here, I want you to look down by the start button and you'll see this type to search here, type here to search box. If you don't have that, just type on this round little circle button, which you will have, just click on it and start typing. And then that will work. Um, it, it, it works just like the type here to search box. In my case, I have the type here to search box. So what we want to search for is this PC. And then I want you to open that by clicking on it. If your devices and drives are not showing, they're hidden like this. I want you to click on this arrow so you can see them. If they're already showing, I want you to find your C drive or whatever drive you purposely chose to install um, Rocksmith 2014 on if you chose a custom drive. Most likely you used the default and it's on your C drive just like I did. Double click on that to open it. You should find program files x86. There's a program files without the x86. It's not the one you want. You want program files x86. Double click on that. In my case I need to scroll down because I have a lot of stuff installed. You might too. We're looking for a folder called Steam and we're going to double click on that and open it. Now, so you know, if you get lost in this process, there is a folder called Steam inside the Steam folder. That's not what we're looking for here. We're looking for Steam apps. Steam apps, all one word. Double click on that. Inside the Steam apps folder, we want to open the common folder. So double click on that. And then inside the common folder, we want to double click and open the Rocksmith 2014 folder. So double click on that. This is the root folder where everything for Rocksmith 2014 is installed. If you've watched any of my other videos you, or tutorials, you've probably been in this folder before making some changes. Um, we're going to open the rocksmith.ini folder. Now, if you've never opened an INI folder before, it might not know what program you want to open it with. And it's going to prompt you to choose a program. The program you want to open it with is Notepad. N-O-T-E-P-A-D, Notepad, all one word. Okay, so the setting we're looking to change here, I'm going to highlight the line, is real tone cable only. Yours is probably going to say equals zero. You want to change that to equals one. And this makes it so when Rocksmith look, is looking for notes to listen to, um, it's not trying to use a microphone in front of an acoustic guitar. It's only going to use your Rocksmith cable to record notes which then allows you to use your microphone, your voice microphone, to record your voice instead of trying to use it to detect notes in front of an acoustic guitar. So that's the purpose of that. Should you choose to put a microphone in front of an acoustic guitar and have Rocksmith try to tell how well you're playing, you need to go back into this rocksmith.ini folder and change this back to zero. Okay. So now we're going to save our work now that we're, we've decided we're going to use it for voice and we put a one after real tone cable only. We've saved that, we're gonna close that out. Okay, and now whenever we're trying to record our microphone and Rocksmith at the same time, it'll work. Um, an additional step I wanna try and show you is um, I'm just gonna use the built-in Windows uh, recording software for videos. Um, and to get that open, if you don't know how to use that, that is type the Windows key all at the same time. I'm going to press the Windows key with a little Windows symbol on it, um, Alt key, which is right next to it, and the R key all at the same time. 
which I just did. Now my little panel opens up, which shows me that it's recording, tells me how long it's recording for. There is a stop recording button. And then there's the microphone, which is currently turned off. You're going to need to press that. And then now you can record your voice. The separate little video that I'm recording is now recording everything that I'm saying, as well as the background game sound. So if I were playing a song and I were singing along with it, that would work. If I were giving you instructions on, you know, what settings to change or tell you how to do something in Rocksmith, it's now recording my voice as well as the game's default sounds playing in the background. Okay, so I hope this is helpful to you. I'm going to stop that now. Hope this was helpful to you. Um, if it is, please click like, um, please share, and please subscribe to the channel. All three help us in uh, building up our reputation and also um, in encouraging us to make more videos. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time.